What's going on guys? Welcome back to Life Ra. So this is just a little update video because some of you seem to be having problems with my previous 1.8 Forge update um, as for, you know, either you're missing a file or you just can't seem to get it work. Well, this one is a little bit simpler. Um, I'm going to walk through it step by step and then show you guys how to load it and everything and then maybe even drag a mod or two in. So uh, basically... I'll have all the links down in the description down below, so be sure to check there. I'll have a link to the site, a direct download link, so you guys won't have to go through the site and all the ads and everything. But, just in case you want to go through the site, this is the site right here. It's files.minecraftforge.net. Okay, and we want to go to Minecraft 1.8. This works for 1.8.1 and any of the others of 1.8 as well. So, we want to go to 1.8, and if we click this drop down and nothing happens, that means we're already on 1.8, okay? Now there's the download latest or the download recommended. Now of course we want to download the recommended because the download latest, although it's newer and may have more features, it is also more buggy. Um, they may fix bugs, but when they're fixing bugs, they might arrive at new bugs. So download recommended is the safest way to go and ensures that you'll have the least amount of problems. So we're gonna go ahead and click installer. Okay, now this is an ad right here. It even tells you, which is very nice. I like this feature that they tell you below here is just an ad. We need to wait for the five seconds, just like AdFly in the top right hand corner, we hit skip. And there's your download link. Again, I'll have that direct download link so you guys can go ahead and download it. We're gonna hit save right to our desktop. Okay, I'm gonna close this down. And if I can find it, there it is, okay. So this is our mod, uh, Forge mod loader, okay. So just keep in mind it's 1.8, then 11.14.3. 3.1450 okay so that'll just come in handy uh, in the later time if you guys actually have tried loading more than just the single forge mod loader because the numbers can get a little bit confusing but for right now we're going to go ahead and double click on this Ooh, if i can actually double click on it and we're going to let it load it should pop up with a mod system installer we want to make sure we install the client of course unless you're planning on doing it yourself or installing the server so make sure it's installing the client, make sure the correct path is on your .minecraft folder, then hit OK. It's going to be downloading on the libraries, successfully installed client profile forge for blah 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 into launcher. OK, awesome. Now if we go into a .minecraft folder, you could either attach it to the taskbar, which I find extremely helpful right here, OK? Or you can go to percent app data percent, which in right on Windows 10 you can type in here. So percent app data percent, OK? And it's going to go ahead and bring this up. I want to go into your .minecraft. And this is your Minecraft folder. Now you can, you can notice right here that there is not a mods folder. Well, then how do you add mods? It's simple. You need to actually load up Minecraft, okay? So we're going into Minecraft. Here's our launcher. Now we're going to want to set up a new profile. I'm going to go ahead and actually use Real Life Around 1.8, okay? And then you want your used version to be the forge 11.14.3.1450 this is the same number because i actually in the past have downloaded you can see a lot of different versions of forge and plus they have the whole lot of different releases and then i have forge for certain programs because they wouldn't work on other forge downloads and then you got the snapshots so make sure that you you have the correct one linked just like that okay and hit save profile now this will automatically probably actually switch you over to default just like that so it would say that you don't want to do that you want to make sure that it goes to whatever it is 1.8 okay and then hit play because you want it to go and actually load up for the first time so we're going to wait for it to load we're waiting i gotta tell you the nice thing about windows 10 uh, edition beta minecraft is it definitely loads pretty fast whereas this one okay i don't want to see that again thank you there you go, so it's actually initializing everything and loading everything up. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. So here it is, Minecraft 1.8. Uh, it goes ahead, we can go to our mods folder, and these are whatever mods. We can go select room A to Z, Z to A, all that stuff. Hit done. So if we, uh, if we go down here back into our Minecraft folder, dot .minecraft folder, and you go to the bottom in my case, you'll see there is the mods folder. So if we just open this up, this is the mod folder that's, of course, inside the .minecraft folder. And from that point, you want to just make sure that mods are compatible 
and easily drop them in. Now these mods are not compatible because they're actually for 1.7.10, but that's as simple as you do. You just close it down, go back into your Minecraft. You might have to restart your Minecraft, but if you go back in, your mod should be listed right where those other lists of mods are. So that's how easy it is, guys. It's pretty simple. Um, again, like I said, some people have run into problems where they actually have like been missing, I think it's D .dll files or something like that, or they need just extra code that they're missing. Uh, in this case, I have not ran into that problem with the recommended version yet. I have with it in, with the uh, the most recent version, but go with the recommended version. It's my my top pick. Um, so I hope that helped, guys. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. And again, all links will be in the description. So thanks for watching. See you guys there. Bye.